Carlton's Travel Adventures. Go get your passport. This is Carlton with Carlton's Travel Adventures, another beautiful day in Medellin. So, talk about a few things, but you know me and my channel. Channel's not about TNA. I can give you important information you can use when you come here, right? Especially you guys who are deciding to come here, or ladies deciding to come here. I'm going to talk about health, my ex current experience with health insurance. Now, I've talked about all the good stuff before about health insurance. And I'd like to give you both sides. Just had a bad experience. So I'm going to re relate to you so you can learn about another bad experience with health insurance. Overall, it's been good. But when it's bad, I'm going to tell you both sides, okay? Even if you get some Colombians mad, I'm telling you both sides of the story. It's never all good. So I told you before, like I went down to, um, they called me about an annual physical, you know? And they told me I had to go to this office in Aguacatala. I probably pronounce it wrong. The pronunciation police can get me, but it's by uh, Poblado, okay? So I went there, all the way there uh, on the train, and it turned out it was a mistake, misunderstanding. They gave me the wrong date, or the machine was uh, told, told, told them the wrong date to, to, to notify me. Long story short, you know, I did find the office. It was a nice office. It wasn't very crowded, so I liked finding an office, but it was a mistake, all right? But I learned the office. So, I had some pain in my side a little bit, maybe it's a nerve or something. Um, you know, bothered me for a, over a week now, maybe, sorry, maybe probably a month, right? So I had to check, check it out. So I took the train all the way to Aguacatala, went to the office, and the office was closed up. Like, damn, I just, just here last month. It's closed up. I'm not sure if it's closed permanently or for some, you know, um, some reason, short term, but it was closed. They told me, go all the way to Poblado. I said, forget about it, okay? So I knew there was an office by Las Melenas in Lorelis. So let me go there. Went there one day, got there late. You know, apparently you got to go there really early in the morning to get an uh, a, uh, appointment for that day. So went there about one o'clock, not knowing that. The lady told me, oh, you know, um, you can wait for another three hours or come back tomorrow at 6.30 when the office opens up, you know. It takes first come, first serve when the office opens up at 6.30 in the morning. I said, cool. Next day, I showed to Los, she told me to come back. So next day, I went to Los Molinas. At about 6.30, I got there, you know, uh, not knowing I got there too late. So I'm waiting in a shorter line, like three, four people, went up front, and the guy said, no, no, the line starts around there by the parking lot. Went looking around like, holy crap. I mean, it's a long line. I said, I'm not staying in that line, okay? So, came back the next day, you know, real early, at, uh, I think, like, 6 o'clock. Okay, got in, waited, got in, and took a, took a number, whatever it is, went all the way to the, to the front, and they told me, oh, the lady told me, oh, you don't, you shouldn't come here. I said, wait a minute now, you told me yesterday, not the same lady, another lady right next to her, uh, why are you here? You're supposed to go to... Um, San Diego office. I'm going, uh, I was just here yesterday. She told me to come back. I don't know. She told you the wrong thing. You got to um, uh, go to San Diego. Okay? I'm going, oh, I mean, I came here two days. You told me to come back. I'm not sure who told you that. But, yeah, her. You know, <laughs> go to San Diego. Okay? Okay. All right. Same thing. Go to San Diego. Make sure I'm there early this time. Got in. First day. They actually saw me, which was good, I waited um, two hours. You would go in first, check yourself in, they go up, they said, okay, they can see you the same day, no problem, but it's gonna be like 8.30 for the appointment. That cool out, just walk around to 8.30. You know, I did that, waste some time to 8.30. Yeah, so I wasted some time just walking up and down the street, went to have something to eat, to 8.30, went in, told the total lady, um, she used, um, Translator on her on her cell phone, on her laptop to talk to me, which was cool. Did the best I could, and um, told me to get some X. But I make it short. Get some X-rays, right? I said okay. So uh, I came home. I tried my best to call. I said, "Can you make an appointment for me right now?" She said, "No, you have to go home and call this number, or use the email address. Make the appointment for the X-ray." I said, "I'm right here in the office. Can you make it for me?" No. 
you have to go home and make the appointment. Okay, give up. So I went home, tried myself. I couldn't do it. You know, I'm not that very good. I, when you call those numbers, you get you uh, press five, uh, press six, uh, press seven, press nine. It go in a circle, and you got to wait, wait, wait. Then you get cut off. Really, really happened so many times. So I just young lady uh, helped me out. You know, I paid some money every now and then to help me out with stuff like with, in dealing with Spanish. And uh, she tried. You said, Carlton, it's better if just you know pay for the x-ray from a private uh, clinic. I said, you know what, you're probably right. She said, you're probably going to have to wait, you know, uh, weeks for the x-ray. I'm not sure if she's right or not, but I said, you know what, let me see what it costs for the x-ray in a private clinic. So we called around, got this private clinic. It was like 86,000 pesos. First I said, that's a lot of money. Not this natural reaction, it's a lot of money for, for x-ray. Then he just said, it's not that much. I said, yeah, it is. 86,000 pesos, a lot of money. And then I did a math and I go, oh, that's 20 something dollars. That's not much. <laughs> I felt silly. <laughs> I said, okay, we'll do it, right? <laughs> you know, that number sounds so big. You have to get used to that still from being here at three years. I said, 86, 20, $23. Oh, that's, that's fine for x ray, no big deal. So I uh, went down to the clinic down in uh, El Centro, got the x ray done. You know, so they said, uh, you know, uh, take it to a doctor. So I said, whatever. Went back to the doctor's office in San, San, San Diego, uh, the clinic, the um, sewer office. And I go in there at 6.30 in the morning and wait to see the doctor the same day again. I wait, I go in, they give me a number. I talk to the lady up front during, during the uh, schedule. And she said, you can't see a doctor today. I mean, what do you mean? I, did, I saw him two days ago. What's the problem? So, well, this is for a follow-up. 3D x-ray, you have to go online and make the appointment. I said, wait a minute now. Before when I came here, two days ago, I could saw the doctor at the same time. Said, yes, that was for to see the doctor that day. This is for a follow-up. You need to make an appointment. I said, I am right here right now. Can you make an appointment for me? He said, no. You have to go home, use a number, email number for the website, or use a number, call and make the appointment for the follow-up. Brum said, I'm right here in front of you. Can you make me an appointment, please? He said, no. It has to be done on the right way online. I went to, okay, I said, okay. Went to another lady sitting by the door. She was very helpful the first day. I talked to her. I said, can you help me out? Can you make me an appointment for the follow-up? He said, well, you have to call this number or this email. I said, but I'm right in front of you. Can you make it for me? I have a hard time. He said, no, that's not the way it's done. You have to make an appointment by the phone. Or, or by the email. That's the way you have to do it. I can't, I can't help you. Oh, God. And I already paid, like, you know, all that money for the taxi. I was like, Shh, this, is, this is frustrating. This is frustrating. So, went home, thought about it for a while. Do I call the other lady to help me with another appointment? I said, no, forget it. You know, forget it. It's probably going to take a, a while, too, to get another appointment. So I was sitting here getting kind of nervous about the x-ray and so forth. Um, and see, I, I, my health is so important. I didn't care what the cost was. So I ended up saying, let me just go to the sewer office for the private insurance, not the public. I have EPOSA, the public one, you know. I said, whatever they charge, I'll just pay it, you know, private one. So I went down to the pub, private one, and I uh, remember two doctors that helped me the last time I was there with a stomach problem. So I asked for them, I said, oh, do they speak English? These doctors here I said, no, they're not here. One worked later. Other ones in not here today, blah, 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 blah. Um, I said, okay, what do you want? So I explained to them best I could, and my, my, tr my translator. He said, okay, no problem. We have somebody that speaks English can help you, a doctor, a lady, she can help you. I said, okay, she said, 91,000 pesos for the, for the, uh, for the, um, the, the appointment, you know, office visit. Last time I was there, it was 70,000 pesos about four months ago, or less than that. But I said, 91,000 pesos, whatever. Compared to the, I'm thinking, compared to the U.S., 25 bucks or whatever, I'll pay it, right? So the lady came out after about 10 minutes. She's a, a doctor, younger doctor. She spoke perfect English. I said, great. I explained thing to her. I can't want you to read this x-ray for me, blah, blah, blah. I've been waiting, you know, to go back to the other doctor with, with the uh, government insurance. She said, no problem, come on in. She went in, she read the x-ray and so forth. She said, I want you to do a follow-up on the x-ray, some other thing, you know, and uh, I want you to, you know, go see another doctor, orthopedic and so forth. So, 
it's just crazy. You know, the way they do things down here is just crazy. Now, the orthopedic now is going to take another, probably another month or so. So I got to, probably got to just get a private orthopedic and pay for the visit myself again. So even though I have this, you know, EPOS the government insurance, on this instance, man, this hasn't worked out at all. Only the first visit I could go see her, rest of them got to go online, follow up, all this stuff, man. So it, it's, it's just, just crazy.